Okay, find the actual roots for each polynomial. So here's what I propose. Follow this process like this. First of all, this is third degree. So how many total roots will there be of rational, irrational, and or imaginary? Three. So there will be three total roots. Next. Let's determine what the possible rational roots are. These are the x-intercepts. Plus or minus. You'll remember in the numerator, it's factors of the constant. So factors of 10. 1, 2, 5, 10. And in the denominator are factors of the lead coefficient, which is 1. So the possible rational roots are plus or minus 1 over 1, plus or minus 2 over 1, plus or minus 5 over 1, plus or minus 10 over 1. Okay. Now, I propose that we graph this equation. So, x to the third minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 10. And I'm going to do zoom 6 to reset my window. <coughs> And I'm going to wait patiently. And it looks like that. Interesting. Now, when you look at the graph on the calculator, does it look like it crosses one of these rational roots? Maybe it looks like it goes through positive 2. So I'm going to press the trace button and I'm going to do 2 enter and I'm going to see if I get y equals 0. And I do. So we know one of the roots is 2. Are there any other x-intercepts? Okay. So remember the x-intercepts are the real roots. There has to be three total. We know that there is one rational at x equals 2. There needs to be how many more? Two. And if there's not any x-intercepts, what type of root does it have to be? Yeah, so there has to be two imaginary and that makes sense because imaginary always come in pairs okay so what we have to do then is we have to factor the cubic by this root so oops I'm going to change this x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 10 equals, what's that? Sorry. Okay, if there's a root at 2, what is the linear binomial factor? x minus 2. And then we know that there has to be another factor for the imaginaries. Now, if there's going to be two imaginary roots, can you predict what the degree of this factor will be? Yeah, quadratic. Yep. All right, so let's do the division and find out what this factor is. So synthetic will be, will represent the cubic with 1, minus 2, 5, and minus 10. And then what number do we divide by? Yeah, 2 by the root. Drop the 1, multiply 
combine, multiply, combine, multiply, combine. We started out with a cubic. We divide by x, so we get a quadratic 1x squared plus 0x plus 5. So this factor is x squared plus 5. Okay. Now, let's find the roots. And we do that by setting each of these factors to zero, and we solve them. So x equals 2, we already knew that one. And then this one, x squared plus 5. Do we need to use quadratic formula? No. no. So x squared equals negative 5. We can take the square root, x equals plus or minus square root of 5, and the square root of negative is i. So there is our one rational root and our two imaginary roots. All right, our next one is this cubic, y equals x cubed, blah, blah, blah. So let's see it's a cubic. So how many roots should we expect? Three roots total. So let's find, to begin with, the possible rational roots. Let's see, denominator is factors of 6. 1, 2, 3, 6. Denominator is factors of the lead coefficient, which is 1. So if we have any rational roots, they should be plus or minus 1 over 1, 2 over 1, 3 over 1, 6 over 1. All right, let's see. y equals x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 6. Let me press the graph button, and, ooh, that looks interesting. I, I can't tell what's going on there. So I'm going to do a zoom box. See what's going on in there. Ooh, interesting. So, how many real roots do we have? real include both rational and irrational. We have three, so that means no imaginary. Now, if we have three real, these could all be rational. Could you have 
two rational and one irrational? No, because irrational comes in pairs. Okay? And so, when I look at these, the rational roots are 1, 2, 3, and 6. See this one right there? Can that possibly be rational? No. How about this one right there? No. How about that one? Maybe I'm going to do trace, and it looks like positive 2, and it comes out 0. So that one is x equals 2. So now we know there is one rational at x equals 2, and there are two irrational that we need to determine by doing the factor process. x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 6 equals... Well, the x equals 2 is going to turn into the linear binomial x minus 2. And this other factor will have to be a quadratic. So let's do the division. 1, negative 2, negative 3, positive 6, divided by 2. 1, 2, 0, 0, negative 3, negative 6, remainder 0. Started out x cubed, we end up with x squared plus 0x minus 3. x squared minus 3. Now we can find the roots. x minus 2 equals 0. x squared minus 3 equals 0, and we solve both of those. We already knew that one. And we can add 3. x squared equals 3. x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. And that is our two irrational roots. And just for fun, I'm going to go back to my graph, and I'm going to press trace, and I'm going to do second square root of 3, enter, Ooh, and there it is, y equals 0. And I'm going to do negative square root of 3, enter, and there's the other one. So we did the work right.